Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm Chris from iLeather.com and today we're going to do a face shaving video with Euphros. This is uh, Citricos by Habone Man. Um, really nice, beautiful scent. Um, scent strength I'd call it about five and a half, maybe six. Uh, this is a product I believe of Spain if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a guy named Nathaniel in uh, Razor and Brush organized a, a group buy for razor and brush so I, I, I picked up this one and the Fougere um, thank you uh, Nathaniel for all the time and effort he really put a lot of time and effort into getting these things and shipping them out to everybody here in the States so appreciate that I will also be using the Timeless OC so uh, let me wet the face and let's get going stay tuned and all right let's see how we do today with our a bone man and by the way this is a citrus scent um, I have used the Bone Man soap before and had good luck with it. Um, it's a little hard to come by here in the U.S. unless someone did, does what um, Nathaniel did, which is sort of organize a group by or you email him. Um, he doesn't really have a, as far as I know, uh, an official mechanism to order from internationally. Uh, so you sort of have to reach out and <clears throat> buy it that way. It'd be nice if some vendors in the United States uh, picked it up and maybe <laughs> so we could uh, get it a little easier. But anyway, um, there are guys like Nathaniel who arrange these sort of things, which is really nice. Gives us the opportunity to try a bone man again. I can tell you right now, it lathers beautifully. No problems at all. Lathering, as you can see there. And uh, best I can recall, because it's been several years since I've used a Bone Man. It's a good quality uh, soap. Not bad at all. All right, let's see what we have here. The blade today is Derby in this uh, Timeless OC. And uh, that feels really, really nice. Residual slickness, quite good. So no problems on the quality front there. No problems at all. Feeling very nice on this Tuesday morning. I hope everyone is doing well. I uh, hope you had a great Monday start to the week. Um, it's funny when uh, I go to meetings and things on Monday and ask how folks are. They're like, it's Monday. <laughs> you know? like, yeah, I think you got to... I'd be happy to be alive and be, be uh, realize that it's, it's wonderful just to have another Monday. That's sort of the way I look at it rather than it's the start of the work week. Yes, it's often a pain on Monday. It's the first day back and things happen over the weekend, stuff like that. But uh, personally, I like to count my blessings when it comes to things like that. Go, hey, you know, it's great. It's great to be alive. You know, that's the way I look at it. All right. Excellent first pass. Stay tuned. We'll come back with pass two. So pass one was really nice. Really no problems at all. I like the scent. This is a unique scent, citrus scent. It's not, not like anything I've experienced. A bone man um, has definitely put their own spin on citrus and I like it very much so no buyer's remorse here I can't recall what we paid for these soaps I want to say it was like 14 or 15 bucks a piece and then you know some for shipping when they got to um, Nathaniel um, and then he packaged them up and mailed them out um, I gave him a tip because uh, that's a lot of work um, I've been involved in that type of thing before. It is a tremendous effort to ship all these soaps all over the place. So, again, we appreciate Nathaniel and his effort. It really is a service to the community, and I hope some other folks uh, tipped him too when they sent him money for shipping because uh, it, it's a lot of work. It really is. All right. Pass two with our Euphros Citricos, or however you say that, it's probably wrong, you know me. I've 
butcher anything that isn't English and but often butcher <laughs> English as well. Um, but good quality, that I can tell you. I have uh, enjoyed it thus far. No problems on the quality front um, that I am uh, detecting here. Seems to be just fine. Slickness and all that stuff. Um, just a nice smooth platform for your razor to glide on. And of course that's what we're looking for. Um, of course, you can never judge the post, like how your skin feels after the shave. That takes some time, but, uh, you know, I'm always able to report on you know, at least how the shave goes. And later down the road, when I use the next Bone Man soap or whatever, I can tell you how the post went. But uh, so far, pretty doggone good, I must say. No problems whatsoever. All right, stay tuned. We'll come back for pass three. All right, and here we are for pass three. And... Uh, one of the things I would say is um, I haven't had any problems whatsoever lathering. A bone man and the quality has been quite good, or you froze. Um, so keep that in mind if you're interested. Good quality soap. In my view, beautiful scent. Um, very much different. Definitely put his own spin or their own spin on citrus and it's nice to get a different scent i really like it it's not your typical you know lime or lemon there's some other stuff that um that i'm picking up that i cannot <laughs> identify but i like it so i can tell you right now there'll be a thumbs up on this one if you want to try euphros citricos um it definitely will get my thumbs up I'm happy to have bought it. Very, very nice. Right up my alley. So thanks again, Nathaniel. Um, really, really nice. All right, here's our final pass with the Timeless OC. And I've gotten a lot of questions recently about charcoal and Timeless. And uh, what I'll say about them is they are both excellent. Um, if, if you're investing in a razor, to last a lifetime or to pass down to your children. I think they're an excellent choice in the premium space. You know, you have um, above the tie and um, charcoal and one blade and um, of course timeless. And there's there are others as well, of course. But uh, boy, these are the ones that I really, really enjoy. Of course, of course. Uh, Wolfman, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Wolfman. It's outstanding too, but really difficult to get your hands on a Wolfman. Uh, timeless, you can get them because you know they machine them um, here in the United States. And uh, there's a family that that does it, and they do an excellent job. And nice people. I've spoken to Matt. I think his name. I don't want to say Matt sometimes. Excellent guy. And I think you'll see nice things coming from Timeless in the future. Um, different things. Uh, but boy, they really did an excellent job on this razor. Really fantastic. All right. That was an excellent three passes. Stay tuned. We will come back for the post. And in comes the magic. Made by Witches. Thayer's Witch Hazel. This one is lemon. And I like the lemon and cucumber. They are my favorite. Um, also, if you like peach. Peach is uh, really good as well. It hangs around, or the scent on the peach is a little bit stronger. Um, the cucumber and lemon uh, don't hang around scent-wise very long at all, which I like because I'm gonna, you know, always follow up with an aftershave. Um, that was an excellent shave, by the way. Um, Euphros Citricos by Habone Man, really, really nice. If I had to level a criticism, um, and again, being fair. The only criticism I would level is, you know, it's in a tin, so you're going to get these. There's a dent. There's it over here. Is a dent too somewhere. Um, right there's a dent. Small. Um, again, for me, tin is an inferior container. Um, Nathan or Nathaniel, he packaged these things just tremendously, and still, 
you know, a couple of dents. Now it's coming from, I guess, Spain, so you're going to have that. But uh, if it's been in plastic, you wouldn't have those uh, dents and rarely have, in fact, I've only ever had one thing plastic break from shaving company. It was a shave stick holder, like a $2 <laughs> shave stick holder. But that tin, I find just not to be um, as robust a container. But the soap, really, really nice, uh, excellent quality stuff. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Nathaniel. Really appreciate it. All right. The app, the, uh, excuse me, the razor, fantastic, timeless. I love this. One of my favorite razors. And we have the Wolf Whiskers uh, brush. I call it Melania with uh, Black Wolf Knot. Absolutely tremendous. Great brush, and let us move on to the aftershave. And we will close this guy out. The blade was derby, by the way. <clears throat> We're gonna use um, fine Italian citrus, which I haven't used for a while. So we'll roll with it today and uh, get our day started in positive fashion. I think the uh, fine Italian citrus is a nice match for the Euphro citrus. Citrico, so however you say that, probably wrong, like I said. I get it wrong most of the time. But uh, you get the idea. We're here to really tell you about the product and let you see how it works for me and just sort of give you my organic thoughts. All right, um, that was outstanding, by the way. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.